Well, welcome Tauruses and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journeys for week commencing Monday the 28th of February through to Sunday the 6th of March 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and the main cards we're using for your reading and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit, thank you. Wow. Well, somebody's breaking free and it feels as if Taurus is, it is, that looks like a man. So it feels like the divine masculine is breaking free. And you know what I am picking up? I'm baking picking up um, that the divine masculine in this connection, Taurus, whether it's you or your divine counterpart, I feel as if they're breaking free of a way of thinking. Um, maybe this person had um, walked away from the connection or rejected the connection or um, resisted the connection. I feel as though they are breaking free of that breaking free. Um, it almost feels as if um, Taurus is. Do you know, I am picking up that this divine masculine energy is yours. Now, bear it in mind, uh, whether you are male or female, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine within us. So Taurus is, I'm going to throw the question at you because this is what I'm getting. Did you resist a connection? Did you um, deny a connection, walked away from somebody? If you did, I feel as if you are using your free will to break out of a way of thinking of this person. It almost feels as if your psychic abilities are opening up Many of you may get signs or synchronicities this week. It's almost as if if you walked away from somebody or resisted somebody, their light, their essence is something that I feel that you can't get out of your spirit. I'm picking up there's a lot of love around you as well. Universal love, divine love but love of your divine counterpart as well. And it almost feels as if you're embracing that now. It's like your arms are wide open to receive the blessing of this. This feels like a very sacred union. Whoever you're thinking about, Taurus, I would say that 100% they are your twin flame. And so many of you, whether you are male or female, it is the divine masculine in you that is taking the action to use your free will and embrace this love. Wow. OK, let's continue. That was deep. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. If um, Taurus, if you're not resonating as the divine masculine, I would say that if you are the divine feminine or you resonate with the divine feminine energy, I would say that um, many of you have been patient for the divine masculine to use their free will to embrace this connection. If you are the divine masculine, I am picking up that it was that it is the divine feminine in this connection that has been patient for you to um, embrace this connection. Let's continue. Thank you. Victim. Yeah, I'm not being funny. Now, um, this... Uh, you can see this looks like a, a, a female person. I feel as if whoever is the divine feminine energy um, either felt a victim um, to this connection. So Tauruses, if you resisted, denied, broke up with the divine feminine, 
the person that you're thinking about. They may have been in a very victim mentality. They may have been bound. They may have felt very disappointed, um, very heartbroken, and they may have been bound to that energy for a while, feeling a little bit sorry for themselves, maybe a bit confused, maybe feeling a little bit weak. But at the same time, I'm picking up that they, they I feel like they're connecting with their inner child to be patient. And it feels as if they may have um, either, I, I feel like whoever you're connecting with is very spiritual. So they may have gone through like prayer or manifesting or some grounding work to try and get themselves out of that victim mentality and to look at the bigger picture. And it almost feels as if their psychic abilities has been awoken to wait to wait, to be patient, to wait, wait, because I feel that the divine masculine was literally on the verge of breaking out of resisting, denying the connection. And now I feel that they, the divine masculine in this connection is definitely embracing now, embracing the love. So it feels as if the divine feminine now, through the connection with, I feel their own spiritual journey, if I'm being honest, and it could be you, uh, Tauruses, okay? But I feel that the divine feminine has been guided through their inner child to focus on the purity and the innocence of this connection and not feel bound because the divine masculine didn't recognize the connection when you both encountered each other. Because it feels as if now that the divine masculine is using their free will to embrace and receive this love, it almost feels as if this sacred union is now being reborn, reshaped, transformed. So if you are the divine feminine Tauruses, it's almost as if them shutting down, blocking, resisting the connection, put you in a position of weakness. Maybe feeling very bound, not being able to move forward, not really understanding why the divine masculine didn't see this connection. Very disappointed, very heartbroken that they didn't see the connection. Your patience is paying off. If you were patient, you just knew that you need to give it time. It's almost as if the chains of that victim mentality is breaking as the divine masculine use, chooses their free will to embrace um, the connection. I'm also picking up that the love, the love, the inner light of the divine feminine is something that the divine masculine couldn't ignore. It's almost as if the beauty of that light moves them, it, it, you know, it didn't sit right in their spirit that they resisted or denied the connection. Tauruses, if you are the divine masculine, everything that I've said about the divine feminine is what the divine feminine is going through. So the divine feminine definitely felt um, weak, okay, if you denied the connection. They were disappointed, they were heartbroken, they may have isolated themselves, but they still felt bound to you. But it feels as if the divine feminine may have done a lot of work on themselves to trust divine timing, trust that the connection would come into union in accordance to divine timing. Wow. A lot of downloads came with just those two cards. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question? Thank oh, that's a lot. Wow, wow. They're telling me to take it. Okay. Okay, third party. Okay, so I feel that the third party that's coming in, 
either the divine masculine had um a third party energy and that third party energy could be um, an actual person okay it could be the third party energy that was that the divine masculine wasn't awoken to the connection but i feel the third party energy was the victim mentality that the divine feminine was going through and that is breaking down and it feels as if that is breaking down in the spring months yeah that victim mentality that the divine feminine uh, was going through okay when the divine masculine um denied resisted the connection because they weren't awakened they're awakening now so therefore the spring months for me is um uh, march april and may the third party energy of the divine feminine uh, feeling bound, feeling in this victim mentality is breaking down because the divine masculine is awakening to the connection and using their free will to embrace, to embrace and receive the blessing of this sacred union. That is so powerful. I cannot even make this up. Um. Uh, let me see. Let's put this card over here. So the divine masculine is away. Look at that. It's almost like the beginning and the end. Or the beginning, I should say. The beginning, the divine masculine awakening. Now they're using their free will. And it's like the victim mentality that the divine feminine was going through. That was a third party energy that they're breaking out of. And it's happening starting in March. Yeah, for some of you, it's it March, April, May. So the next three months, that is when um, the divine feminine connection person in the connection, uh, Tauruses, is going to be breaking out of um the victim mentality so the divine feminine i feel is being guided to still be patient i i i'm not sure which one is which at the moment taurus is so i'm gonna have to um read it as divine masculine and divine feminine and and, and you take what is resonating with you because i'm fully aware that i could be speaking to tauruses that fall in the divine masculine um category and some of you that may fall in the divine feminine category okay but it feels as if both of you your psychic abilities are opening up really seeing the connection so really look out for the signs and synchronicities because there's a major breakthrough that's happening here uh tauruses for you and your divine counterpart let's have a look at your crowning wisdom messages my angels and that well this card will need to come out Oh, wow. Look at that. 64. So blue heart representing the throat chakra. Try to see things from your twin flames perspective to gain a better understanding. Now, I feel as if this is almost talking about the psychic abilities. You may rather than speaking um, uh, carnally to one another. Uh, I feel Tauruses, I feel as if communication is coming in from your twin flame, your d divine counterpart, um, in either dreams, signs, synchronicities, psych um, uh, psychically. This is the psychic abilities that I was picking up. Um, and so it almost feels as if uh, your divine counterpart, Taurus, is going to be speaking to you through signs and synchronicities, through that psychic ability that the two of you have with one another as a twin flame. So really, really look out. And it may be that you, whatever is communicated psychically is going to give you a different perspective, whether or not you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine, you're going to be getting signs and synchronicities from your divine counterpart. So really, really look out from those signs and synchronicities because it's almost as if you're going to understand the viewpoint of your twin flame. So, for example, if you are the divine masculine in this connection, it almost feels as if the divine masculine, by using their free will and awakening to the connection, will be communicating to the divine feminine psychically why 
why they shut down the relationship, why they walked away, why they denied it. And I feel that it's the divine feminine to pay attention to that so that they can understand why it wasn't them. It was because the divine masculine wasn't awoken to the connection. If you are the divine feminine in this connection, I feel as if the divine masculine is going to communicate to you yeah why you why they didn't see the connection or maybe even communicate that they were not uh, unawakened unawoken to the connection they're using their free will to look at things from a different perspective and they want the divine feminine to look at things from a different perspective if you are the divine feminine um in the in this in this connection uh, the divine feminine may um communicate to the divine masculine, why they felt in this victim mentality, okay, why they felt bound, why they felt uh, disappointed, um, disappointed, felt um, heartbroken, that the divine masculine didn't see the connection sooner. So it almost feels that if you are the divine masculine in this energy, uh, in this in this reading at the moment, Taurus is it's as if the divine feminine is going to um, speak to you um, psychically to explain um, what they went through whilst you were unawoken to the connection. The next card we've got is one eight eight. So an orange heart is the sacral chakra. So that's about the two of you. Um, Feeling the senses, feeling the connection, feeling um, the depth of the sacred union, all of your senses being awoken. Hence why I feel that the psychic abilities are being awoken in both of you. And it says here, what kind of energy are you holding on to? Your twin absorbs what you feel. Raise your vibration today. So again, if you are the divine feminine in this connection, Taurus, you're being guided that the feelings that you felt feeling victimed, feeling victimized, feeling bound, feeling like you don't know which way to turn because that third party energy was um, um, taking you into that vibration of a low vibrational energy because the divine masculine may have resisted or denied the connection. You're being guided to pay attention to what feelings you are holding on to because the divine masculine, as the two of you, your psychic abilities are opening up, communicating to one another. Uh, what you're absorbing, your divine masculine person is going to be picking up that energy as well. If you are the divine masculine energy, okay, um, and whatever reason that you denied, resisted, walked away, broke up, whatever it is, you put yourself in a situation of, um, what you might call it, um, separating, separating from the divine feminine. You're being guided, particularly as you're awakening, as you're using your free will, there could be some third party energy of like, I don't know, guilt or fear or um, not sure whether or not the divine feminine will welcome you with open arms as you are now awakening to the connection you're being guided to keep your vibration up to be positive be in this energy be open open to receive the love that surrounds you and the divine feminine because if you hold on to any kind of because the two of you are going to be communicating psychically subconsciously or consciously Okay, so if you then pick up the divine divine masculine Tauruses, if you then pick up that the divine feminine felt very bound, very victimized, very um, low vibrational, very disappointed, very heartbroken, but yet still bound to you, not really understanding why you rejected the connection because you weren't awoken to the connection, you may absorb that and you may feel guilt, you may feel fear, you may feel like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Because you're not going to like the fact that you're picking up the energy that the divine feminine was almost in distress. Try and 
<coughs> focus on the positivity, focus on the love that surrounds this connection. Because divine masculines, as you are awakening and using your free will, your positive energy will help the divine feminine come out of that victim mentality. So raise your vibration, raise your vibration. Wow, thank you. And the final card that's come out. Just put this here. Wow. 660, again, um, feelings, uh, orange heart, sacral chakra, I feel Tauruses again. Whether you're not, you are the whether you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine. You're really, really stepping into your sensual senses at the moment. There may also be a lot of um, sexual energy, okay. Um, but it is almost as if the connection is being reborn. So if that third party energy was uh, Taurus, if you if you felt that this was more sensual or it was more lustful, it, that that has that has changed. That that's been almost broken down. Yeah, as the divine masculine um, awakens to the connection, it says here, you do not have to compromise your own integrity to get what you want. Assert yourself accordingly. So, again, it feels as if um, whatever senses, whatever sensual senses, whether you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine, you're being guided. Don't compromise yourself. Don't. I almost feel like I want to say. Whatever the chemistry is, Taurus, between you and your divine counterpart, I almost feel as if um, if you felt that it was lustful, I feel that you're being guided. You don't need to compromise yourself. Know that the sensual feelings that you're feeling for the divine for your divine counterpart is um, is deeper than that. It's it's deeper than that. You you are just picking up each other's vibration picking up each other's sensual energy and you don't need to compromise yourself if you feel that you know this is a new connection or um if you and this person you have already been in a relationship and it has been very sexual and you kind of thought that that's all it was i feel you're being guided don't compromise your integrity because that sexual chemistry is part and parcel of the chemistry of the two of you so you may um you you can assert yourself and get what you want you may decide that you um don't want to focus on the sensual side of things you may want to get to know this person a little bit more i feel that you're being guided to know it's okay it's okay the sexual chemistry between the two of you it's okay it's not lustful it's it's the senses you're both awakening really really awakening to this connection it's quite powerful so many of you you're being guided it's okay to assert yourself accordingly because you may not you may want to explore this connection deeper you know deeper than just a physical connection all right let's continue um Tauruses, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Tauruses. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support and encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I really do hope all of you get something really meaningful and useful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys for week commencing Monday, the 28th of February? through to Sunday, the 6th of March, 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? This is a really powerful message, um, uh, Tauruses. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. 
Wow. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them? Thank you. Wow. Wow. Okay. So the divine feminine did go into solitude. And I feel as if that they went into solitude um, simply because they felt bound, they felt victimized, they felt disappointed, heartbroken, um, that the divine masculine wasn't uh, awoken when they encountered the divine masculine. And it almost feels as if that was the third party energy that was around them. Wow. Well, I feel as if uh, Tauruses, I feel that you're taking action towards the Divine Feminine. I really feel that this is um, the Divine, yeah, your Divine Counterpart. Look at that barrier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tauruses, I really do feel that I am picking up the Divine Masculine Energy of the Tauruses, okay? So bear with me. Um, I'll try and read it both ways. Um, but I feel as if the divine feminine energy is on the left-hand side. So whether or not, you, if you are the divine feminine Tauruses, then I feel that you are on this side, okay? You may have gone into... Um, isolation, solitude, because the uh, divine masculine denied the connection in some shape, form or another. There was a barrier. There was a barrier up between the two of you. And I feel that now as the divine masculine is awaken, awakening, they're coming towards the divine feminine. Let me continue. Because this is your side, technically. But let's see. Yeah, look. Tauruses, I feel that the divine masculine, which I genuinely feel that it's your energy, uh, wants to paint a different picture. The muse here is almost as if as the divine masculine awakens to the connection, um, the light, the uh, the light, the beauty of the connection is what the divine masculine is waking up to, realizing that there was a real barrier and they may have been the cause of that barrier. OK, um, I also feel as if um, the divine masculine may want to communicate, OK, that they want to paint a different picture now because they're breaking free of um, whatever had gone on between the two of you. Yeah, they're embracing, they're embracing, using their free will now to embrace the love that is around this connection, wanting to co-create with Divine Spirit Universe and paint a different picture. I also feel as though, Tauruses, this is on your side, I also feel as though as, as you um, try and look at things from the perspective of um, your divine counterpart, particularly if you are the divine masculine energy, it almost feels as if you are going to have an understanding that the divine feminine uh, felt bound, victimized, upset, sol in solitude, really contemplating, which I feel is where you're going to take action to paint a different picture. I really do feel that I'm speaking. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Oh, wow. Okay. Material world. Okay. So, uh, Tauruses. Did you deny the connection because you felt that you weren't at the same material status as your divine counterpart? Have you been trying to paint a different picture of... Um, building your finances, being of that kind of stature or where you want to be in life. Is that why you put up the barrier? Is that why you broke away from the connection? If so, I feel as if you are using your free will to see that 
money, this kind of connection isn't about money, isn't about material wealth, it isn't even about the carnal viewpoint, our human self. It's it's deeper than that. And many of you, if you are the divine masculine, you're seeing that. You're seeing that money is irrelevant because you are on this soul journey with your twin flame. So it doesn't even matter what the material situation is. It certainly doesn't matter to the divine feminine. Many of you may have awoken to that. I feel that uh, your divine counterpart... They may have wanted to build a future with you, build a family, but they were mute. Both of you were mute. Mute, that silence created a barrier. And I feel now, Tauruses, you are surrendering to the connection. I'm not being funny, but Tauruses, you are definitely the divine masculine on this side. You are definitely the divine masculine. I feel that many of you may have seen, because this is a woman here, you may have seen the light, the light that is in the, in the heart of the divine feminine. The beauty of that is something that you, you can't escape. It's almost as if the beauty of the divine feminine's light is so bright that you're now surrendering because the divine feminine surrendered to this connection long ago, but you may have denied it. I feel now you want to paint a very different picture. And they may have kept silent, kept silent of what they were going through. Wow. Let's get some clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Wow. Well, uh, straight off de the death card transformation. There's a rebirth. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. This is the transformation that I was talking about. It almost feels as if the divine feminine is either psychically getting um, a download of information that the connection is going through a rebirth. And I said that it's a sacred union that's going through a rebirth. OK. And that's possibly... Um, and this is happening in the spring months, March, April, May. As the uh, divine feminine is in solitude, really thinking about um, the divine masculine, which I feel is you, Taurus. I feel as if they are almost like calm because they may psychically know that the divine masculine is awakening. And the three of cups in reverse. So I feel as if the divine mass, the divine feminine definitely wanted to be around the divine masculine. They wanted to celebrate this connection, but it was denied. It was denied. The three of cups in um in reverse here. This is <coughs> this is almost kind of like um feeling disconnected from the um, divine masculine, feeling disconnected, hence going into solitude. But it's through that solitude, that's where the rebirth is happening. So if the divine feminine wanted to be around the divine masculine, face up, celebrate this connection, get to know the divine masculine, and they couldn't because the divine masculine can, uh, disconnected. There's a rebirth now because the divine masculine has awoken. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. And look, wow, look at that. Temperance in reverse. So I feel as if the divine feminine may have been a uh, patient and i did say that it's almost as if their inner child was guiding them to be patient those ropes chains of victimization that's that third party energy that the divine feminine i feel was going through that's breaking down okay um breaking down because the divine masculine has awoken to the connection I'm also picking up um, with the temperance in reverse, um, the divine uh, 
feminine may have felt very imbalanced, very frustrated, disappointed, trying to balance out their emotions. They may have even felt that there was a third, per a third person that was preventing the divine masculine from taking, um, taking action towards them. But I feel as the action is coming from this direction, from your side, Tauruses, uh, which I genuinely feel that you are the divine masculine in this, in, this, in this reading, it's almost as if the divine masculine taking action towards the divine feminine may make them feel a little bit unbalanced, not sure what to expect. Oh, wow. Wow. And so the divine feminine is going to de detach from that. So I feel where the divine feminine, I would say, with the three of cups, wanted to celebrate, be around um, the divine masculine. It was blocked, basically, because the divine masculine may have blocked the connection, um, left them feeling very unbalanced. Uh, not sure, you know, that victim mentality, which was the third party energy that was toxic. Yeah, with the devil card. But as the divine masculine takes action towards the divine feminine, the divine feminine um, all of a sudden de um, uh, detaches, detaches from any kind of negative thinking. Those ropes get broken, those chains get broken. But they are still feeling a little bit like mm, a little bit unbalanced. Like what is the divine masculine going to say to them? But what they went through was very toxic. The divine feminine or your divine counterpart, Taurus is. Again, if you are the divine feminine, this may be your side, Taurus. It's just echoing what you went through. And so whatever you went through, um, if you are the divine feminine, it almost feels as if that third party energy of feeling victimized, bound, not, not, not knowing which way to go left, right or center. You're detaching from that with the devil in reverse because the divine masculine is taking action towards you. If you are the divine masculine The action of you wanting to paint a different picture and taking action towards the divine feminine helps them to detach from that victim mentality. And that's why it's really important. Uh, where is it? What kind of energy are you holding on to? So divine masculine um, energies uh, is almost as if you're being guided to stay positive because when you psychically get to understand what the divine feminine went through that may sadden you that may yeah that may bring your vibration down i feel that you're being guided to stay strong yeah with the devil and the temperance you could be dealing with uh capricorn or sagittarius or you could have capricorn or sagittarius in your chart let's continue my, and it's almost like the action that the divine masculine is going to take towards the divine feminine. It's like that's what's going to break down the barrier. That is what's going to enable uh, silence, muted. Um, that's going to that that was the barrier. It's like both of you didn't really speak about how you really felt. But the divine masculine wants to paint a different picture. And so therefore, that barrier of not speaking is going to be broken down. The blue representing the throat chakra. What's whoa? that's a lot of cards. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that, the sun. So victory, happiness, fulfillment, prosperity, because the barrier of silence has been broken because the divine masculine is painting a different picture, speaking, speaking what they want, speaking somehow uh, whatever words they're going to be using, they're using their free will to embrace this connection, which breaks down the barrier of silence which brings happiness, prosperity, abundance, a rebirth. 
could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. And the Knight of uh, Wands, I feel that that is the Divine Masculine. I'm telling you, this side is the Divine Masculine. Um, the Divine Masculine wants to take action to break down silence yeah to break down that barrier of silence but they may be a little bit uncertain but they're still going to do it because they recognize that the divine feminine is the one for them they want to paint that different picture the divine feminine is their wish fulfillment like i say the the light the beauty of the light of the divine feminine could not be ignored any further they know that look at that cannot even make this up the two of swords is the divine masculine sees very, very clearly that um, they have to have a conversation with the divine feminine. They may pick up that the divine feminine wants to have a conversation. But they are the one that's going to initiate it. Might feel a little bit uncertain. But I feel that they're going to do it because they see that the divine feminine is the person that they want to be with. Their wish fulfillment. And I feel the burden of material wealth, if um, whether Taurus is, if you are the divine masculine, okay, or Taurus females or Taurus divine feminine energy, um, the divine masculine energy in this connection, put a barrier up around this connection because I felt that they, I feel they felt lack okay burden money problems this 10 of uh wands is burdens um money money was a problem money was a burden they may have felt that the divine feminine was a lot more advanced maybe financially maybe where they wanted to be they felt lack and i feel that they are going to they it's like they realize money doesn't make this connection not this type of connection anyway and I feel that they, that's why they put up that barrier. They felt lack. They felt that they weren't where they wanted to be in, in the material world. I feel that the divine masculine is using their free will to just break out of that thinking. Because it's not the material that you're going to bring with you in the next life. It's the memories of the soul that you're making with each other in this lifetime that you're bringing forward. And so as the divine masculine awakens this, to this connection, it almost feels as if they get a download that it's not even about the material world to put down that burden. It's about the soul experience and the memories that the two of you create, hence why they want to paint a different picture. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? I just saw the high priestess. Wow. So I just saw the high priestess, which is telling me that both of you are spiritually aligning to one another. That again, that's that psychic abilities. And then we've got the um, ace of um, wands here. Do you remember what I was saying to you about the passion? The passion, um, the sensual feeling is like the two of you are on fire for each other passionate which could have been construed as lust which might have been why the divine masculine shut down the connection but i feel it's the divine feminine that is coming towards the divine masculine with an olive branch yeah wanting that new beginning almost wanting to say to the divine masculine look you know it's not about the money that you have it's about what we feel on a soul level. And I feel that the divine masculine is going to get that. Hence why they're taking action towards the divine feminine. Let's uh, clarify these uh, bonus cards that have come out for you. Yeah, look, it's like the divine masculine is painting a different picture, taking action to build a family with the divine feminine breaking their silence breaking the silence between the two of you that created a barrier is almost as if now they see that the divine feminine surrendered to this connection so they are now surrendering to the connection using their free will to embrace the love that is in the heart of the divine feminine my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify 
how does the twin flames of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, I'm sure I just saw the lover's card, look at that, uh, look at that, uh, uh, the divine feminine wants a new beginning, they're going to take that leap of faith, there's the tower moment that happened, okay the tower moment could be um that the divine masculine when they were unawoken to the connection denied the connection that was the blessing that was the trigger for them to see um beyond the material wealth and again i can't even make this up because all the male cards are coming out on the divine masculine side which is your side taurus is the divine masculine uh it took them some time it took them some time to connect the dots back to the divine feminine. But look, they're taking action to paint a different picture, to break the silence because they want to offer the divine feminine something solid. And look, there's the breakup. There's the breakup. The divine masculine, I felt. Uh, look, yes, look at that. They were focusing on their money. It's almost as if the divine masculine was either thinking or focusing on their money, thinking that the material wealth is what was going to um, bring the two of you together, okay? Um, and because they weren't where they wanted to be financially, which was a burden for them, it's almost as if that's why they created that tower. They, they shut down the relationship. And it's not because I feel that they didn't love the divine feminine. No, not at all. They felt lack in some way to do with their finances. Sorry, Tauruses. Um, I, I'm really picking up that you are the divine masculine. If you didn't feel lack, I feel that you may have focused a lot on work. There could have even been work work that was going on so you had to almost disconnect from the divine feminine because you didn't want to get distracted but what you didn't realize is that it literally broke the divine feminine's heart it put the the divine feminine in a position of weakness and so as you realize that and you communicate with each other consciously subconsciously it feels as if you're going to feel that real sadness i feel that you're being guided uh for the divine fem for the, di the divine masculines which i'm really picking up is taurus then i feel that you're being guided to to keep your vibration up raise your vibration because when you realize that focusing on money wasn't what this connection is about and when you get those signs and synchronicities from the divine feminine this week, many of you are going to realize that you, you know, they were really hurt, really hurt over that tower moment, a breakup, a disconnect. When all you really wanted to do was give, give to the connection. Tauruses, you may have wanted to almost kind of build your money your finances so that you were in the very best position to properly come into union particularly if you are a male taurus and you are connecting with the divine masculine energy you may want it to have been the provider the one that is that has enough money to you know build a family with this person because look you're taking action towards them because you want to build a family and the divine feminine wants that as well. But you may have felt that you weren't in a position to build this family. Hence why you broke up with this person. Disconnected. Because you didn't have the finances. The material. It's like you. It's like the divine masculine wanted the very, very best for the divine feminine. So they resisted. They resisted. Denied. Put a barrier up. And I feel I don't know what's happened, but something, the paradigm shift has happened here because the divine masculine is waking up that this connection is more about money. It's more about wealth. Um, it's more about the material world. This is about a soul connection. 
and the importance of creating memories right here, right now, right in the present so that you can carry those beautiful memories in the next lifetime. The Divine Masculine has connected the dots now. Let's have a look and see what your twin flame messages are to each other. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. So message from uh, your divine counterparts, Tauruses. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So I feel as if, if the, um, this is definitely a divine feminine energy that's coming up um, as your divine counterpart, uh, Tauruses. Uh, I feel as if the divine feminine uh, is feeling the consequences of isolating themselves, being in that victim mentality. It may have taken them a hot minute to do some healing, okay, to come out of that energy. To accept the silence, being silent, maybe not expressing how they were feeling at the time that that tower moment happened. They're feeling the consequences of that. The second message is, I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. So I feel that the divine feminine energy, as the divine mas masculine takes action towards them to paint a different picture, breaks silence. Um, it's almost as if the divine feminine, it strengthens them so that they want to be authentic. They want to express, they want to talk, they want to communicate. The divine feminine is all about the emotions. So they kept silent because I feel like they just didn't want to come across as overly emotional. But what they didn't realise is the consequence of that meant that they were in this victim mentality, almost bound, bound, muzzled, because they couldn't speak what they were feeling. And it brought them to a place of a very low vibrational energy, which was the devil card, the third party energy. As the divine masculine takes action towards them now, they are detaching from that energy because they want to be authentic. They don't want to be afraid to speak their emotions. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your twin flame messages for the collective of talk? Thank you. And for Taurus, for you, which I genuinely feel that you are the divine masculine energy in this reading. It says, I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. Absolutely. You know, remember with the two of swords, which is that female energy here, you know that the divine feminine wants to have a conversation, but they don't know how to have this conversation. You see that you want to talk, you want to recreate, you want to paint a different picture, but many of you may not even know what to say. To the divine feminine can't find the words right now this card wanted to come out thank you i feel safer in the silence yeah so divine masculine energies i feel that you will eventually take action towards the divine feminine but i don't feel that you're going to start going um you're not going to have that heart to heart just yet not this week anyway. Um, you may reach out to maybe engage, see how the divine feminine is doing, um, just touch base to start that journey of a rebirth. But right now, silence is where you're feeling most safe. And remember, we saw the night of um, wands, unsure, unsure whether or not to have the, that heart to heart conversation. I feel that many of you may not uh, have a heart to heart conversation, but I feel that you're definitely going to take action towards the divine feminine. You're going to talk about something. You're going to re-engage, basically, because there's a rebirth here with the death card. Let's see what your advice is now. My angels and spirit guides of the divine people. Oh, ouch. Well, that really pricked my finger. Uh, so it feels as if um, it's almost like, um, d d did your spirit prick you? Or like, did it like, did it really kind of, you know, divine spirit universe poke you, um, uh, Tauruses? It says here, oh, look, it says here, I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from a most benevolent universe. I almost feel as if Tauruses, the way that card came out and it pricked my thumb, 
it's almost I feel this is the awakening. This is your message to the divine feminine. Because I feel that there, there, there was, there's a lot of love here. And you are very, very grateful for this person in your life. But it almost feels as if it was a little bit like divine pricking you to wake up, wake up to this connection. And you have. And using your free will to express that you are very, very grateful for this person in your life. Wow, thank you. Your next message says advice. It says every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Yet sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust all is as it should be. And I feel Taurus, that is divine spirit universe coming in with the advice to let you know that divine timing was perfect. Yeah, um, divine timing um, gave both of you this experience. Um, many of you may have almost had like a, you know, uh, your spirit was moved. Um, that you wanted to paint a different picture with the divine feminine. Yeah, I feel that the light of the divine feminine is something that shone really, really brightly. And so whatever, whatever reason that triggered a separation it happened for a reason it happened Tauruses for you to recognize the universal love around this very very sacred union that is going through a rebirth but also as well um you brought a fundamental lesson to the divine feminine or the divine feminine received a fundamental lesson. And I almost want to say, even though it's not coming up here, but intuitively, it almost feels as if the divine feminine need to go, needed to go on a journey to not be dependent on the divine masculine making them happy. So you both brought something very, very fundamental to each other. And so I feel divine spirit universe is saying the experience both of you went through it is as it should have been. Wow. And final message, please, for Taurus. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me? Thank you. And your final advice, Taurus. It says, try to look at things more from a feeling level. What is your heart saying? If you look at life purely through logic, you will always get to a point where it seems to make no sense. True wisdom and understanding resides in the heart. I'm not being funny, but that word logic is what I always associate with the divine masculine. Somebody that's logical, rational, action orientated. And I've been saying all along, this feels as if I am reading for the divine masculine Tauruses. And it almost feels as if the divine masculine, uh, you know, is being guided to step into their feelings. Look, the two sacral chakra uh, hearts coming out here is almost as if feeling through the connection rather than applying what the material expectations are. Let all of that go. What was your heart telling you? That is where the true wisdom and understanding comes in your heart and so the logic of trying to you know build your finances work on material like being able and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with wanting the best for your divine counterpart or be the best version but there needs to be a balance you can't well you can do what you want but it's almost as if i feel that the message is is that it's not even about the material world and the material wealth, the material state status of where you are in life right now. The blessing is that you have met your divine counterpart and that is more important than the material world. And the divine masculine is awakening to that and using the free will to just open up their arms and receive the blessing 
of this beautiful sacred union. I'm going to leave that there for you, Taurus. Please feel free to check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. You may get additional information to help you uh, with this message. Um, if this message resonated for you, uh, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, uh, Tauruses, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.